Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of the OSE Workshop, which I'm really excited about because it is an add-on to the Kerbal Attachment System. Now, I am a huge fan of the Kerbal Attachment System. I just love the idea of having storage containers you can put spare parts into, so if, you know, your ship gets damaged or whatever, you can take out a spare part and slap it right on. It's beautiful. I love it. And we featured several sort of add-on mods to the Kerbal Attachment System in the past, and this is yet another which adds into the game, if we head into the VAB, a workshop that allows you to actually create the objects that can go inside the containers. So, if we head on over to utility, well actually let's grab a command pod here first just so we have something to attach things to, and then on over to utility where, if we move on over to this page, we'll see the first two things that this adds in is a toolbox type A and a toolbox type B. Now these are important and they're uh, basically carbon copies of this these containers up here, but these containers store Kerbal attachment system compatible parts. So you store the parts in here, then you get to use them. Now these copies of them that are added into this mod hold rather than parts, well, rather than uh, the physical item parts, you get generic rocket parts, which you can see here. The toolbox type A holds 50 rocket parts, and the toolbox type B holds 100 rocket parts. And these rocket parts are then combined with electricity and at least two Kerbals inside of this mobile workshop, which sadly doesn't have its own unique model. Currently, it's just using the Hitchhiker uh, container for its model. But you combine the rocket parts and the electrical charge and two Kerbals inside here working, and they will make the parts that you can store inside of cast containers. So if we just grab one of these containers real quick, essentially, the workshop will be able to produce any of these parts that we have in this list right here. Everything from an illuminator to a mobility enhancer, all the way up to an anchor or grappling hook, whatever you so desire. So if you don't have a part or you ran out, you may have broken your spare part. If you have the, let's actually grab it and click it on here, the mobile workshop, you'll be able to create them. And I, I just love that. It adds in a manufacturing element into it, and that's just beautiful. Now, it's, it's a pretty simple uh, mod in terms of parts. As I said, we have these two toolboxes, which hold rocket parts, and then you have this workshop, which actually uses those parts plus electricity to create things. So, I made just a quick little workshop craft in here. There it is. And this thing has all you need. We have an extra toolbox up here full of 100 rocket parts. Now, the workshop itself also does hold 25 rocket parts and a whole lot of electricity. Let's actually go and check that out real quick to be 100% sure. Yes, there we are, 2500 electric charge. So this thing is already essentially a big battery and also a small container of rocket parts. So on its own, it has everything you need to start production of things. Uh, but I threw on an extra bit of parts here just in case we use too many. So let's go out and launch this puppy and actually build some things. Now, when you do build things, it you as I said, it uses the rocket parts, but it uses as many rocket parts mass-wise as is needed to create the mass of the object you are building. So whatever the overall mass of the item is you're making, so whether it's a small object that has a very you know tiny mass or a large object that has a large mass, it will use that amount of parts mass-wise to actually create it. And when it is created, it will go into the nearest attached open container. Now the mobile workshop does have its own container that we can throw things into. I also did attach a small container here on the bottom just in case. Uh, but anything that we build right now should automatically go into this container. If this container is full, 
they would go into this container, etc. and so forth until you run out of empty containers. And if you do run out of empty containers, the part will stay inside the workshop and wait until there is space to put it in. Now granted, once that is the case, you can't actually build anything until you you know add that part or move that part into a container, uh, but still you don't lose it, which is good. In the original version of this mod, you lost the part if there wasn't storage room, but now it'll hold the part in the queue, essentially. And to create the part, you just use the next and previous buttons to uh, navigate your way around. I wish it had uh, something that was a bit more <laughs> ease of use, like perhaps some something similar to the open container option that we had inside the VAB, have that huge list, and then you just select whichever. But for right now, it is just the next and previous buttons. So say we uh, wanted to build one of these photovolvic panels, the 1x6. We have that selected now, and quite simply, all we need to do is hit build, and you'll see up... Oh, not enough crew! I forgot... <laughs> uh, I forgot to put crew in this thing. As I said, it requires two people in here. I didn't think to check that before we launched, but there we go. Now we have that solved, and we're back in a moment on the uh, launch pad here. And there we go, back to the solar panel. There we go, now that we have two people inside the container, or the workshop rather, we can build that item and you'll see this progress bar going up and that will uh, show you how long it's gonna take until your object is done. And it the it'll take more time depending on how big the item is, etc. And uh, yeah, it's, it, is quite interesting. A good little progress bar for you. Of course, we can speed up time, and it uh, won't go haywire. Uh, that would that, of course, is always a good thing with the progress bar. Let's slow it down, and there we go. We have just produced a uh, solar panel, and if we open this container, you'll see it right there. And now we can get, say, uh, Bill outside of the ship. He can now grab that container or that uh, solar panel, rather. And then, there we go. We built and attached a solar panel onto this craft thanks to the workshop. And it's glorious. I really do love the idea of this. Uh, the possibilities are just insane. And now planned features for the future are the ability to actually queue items, because right now you just select whichever item you want and then hit build. Uh, the hope is to add a queue so you can, you know, select multiple parts and it'll build them one after the other. Another idea for the future is recipes. So to build more advanced objects, you may have to build its constituent parts, which I love the idea of. Now, hopefully, in time, it will get a much better model uh, and a better interface. For the time being, the next and previous is acceptable, but it would be lovely if we could actually select from a list, because uh, if you have like a lot of different other Kerbal Attachment compatible mods, uh, you may have a gigantic list of possibilities of what you can build. And so it would be nice to have a better user interface, but for the time being, it is acceptable. And uh, I just love it. There we go. We've built another photovolvic panel there. And it's it's glorious. Now, other hopes for the future are uh, but the, the potential use of additional resources, uh, which would be quite cool. Uh, there are a few issues. For instance, you once something is started, to be built, you can't cancel it. And it's, of course, also using this hitchhiker container as a placeholder. Uh, but yeah, hopefully those things will be fixed in the future. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to try this mod out for yourself, which if you use the Kerbal Attachment System, I definitely would say for you to give this a go. You can uh, check out the download link in the description and uh, give it a try, because it is fun. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this video today and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now I'm gonna go off and build some strange monstrosity of parts with this thing. It will be glorious. Later!